You know, Ray, the, one of the most important things about the use of polymers is that the tubes need to be absolutely as clean as possible. This is one of those cases where cleanliness, cleanliness is really next to godliness. Mm -hmm. And we've discovered with the polymers that they adhere much better to the metal if the metal is as clean as we can possibly get it prior to applying the polymers. I agree with you 100% there. <clears throat> if you think of it in, in terms of an automobile, you would really want to clean your car first before you wax the car because you don't want to wax all those contaminants into the finish. You wouldn't have a good, a good seal, a good coat, it'd still be rough. Whereas if you clean it first and then apply that sealant, really makes that finish smooth and, and in our case, lightning fast. You know, you can take that one step further. If the car was not waxed for a long period of time and the paint oxidized, you would need to remove the oxidation prior to mm -hmm. using your car wax or your polymer treatment. And the same thing would be true of the trombone slide. If it's, if it's been around for a while and has had the opportunity to oxidize, all of that needs to be removed prior to any polymer being applied so that the polymer would, will adhere appropriately and correctly to the inside of the outside tubes. And you know, that's why I like to use the Wright's Brass Polish to do the cleaning before I really get into the, the great slide application. Well, typically how many applications of brass polish does it take to really get the slides to clean? You know, that's on a slide-by-slide -slide basis. I, I've gone anywhere from four to six cleanings per tube and upwards of 20. It just uh, it just depends on the tubes and how often it's been cleaned or what shape it's been in or how long it's been sitting or just a variety of circumstances. No way to really tell until you get into it. Well, how can you tell when it is clean? When you go to rinse it, that Wright's Brass Polish will run through those outer tubes and come out a milky white, kind of chalky color. Okay. Well, will you see differences on the rag when you wipe it out? Yeah, it, it, it lightens up. As, as you clean and as you go. It'll, you can kind of tell that you're making progress and you're getting there. Okay. Well, I think we're ready to show how we apply the Wright's Brass Polish now. And I think maybe you want to explain to everyone why we're doing it here. Well, we're doing it here because where I usually do the Wright's Brass Polish, which is in, in the bathroom in there, just a small area and it's hard to film in there so we're going to make the application in here and then once we're done we're going to head to the bathroom to rinse it out. Sounds like a plan to me. Alright. <laughs> 